Namaste, I'm Archana. Welcome to this yoga session for weight loss. Yoga is an effective tool to help reduce weight, but not just in terms of burning calories. It also works at the organ system by helping the different organs in our body function to its full potential. The mindfulness aspect of yoga helps reduce stress, in turn reducing stress hormones, which can contribute to weight gain. If you're new here, remember to subscribe to my channel. This month, we're going to have more videos on weight loss and how yoga helps with weight loss. So we're going to begin today's session by coming to stand on our mats. So we're going to begin by standing at the top edge of our mat, feet hip width apart. Breathe in, reach your hands all the way up towards the ceiling. Breathe out, hinge at your hip, fold forward, Pada Hastasana. Inhale, Ardha Hastavatasana. Exhale, drop down, press into the earth, inhale, come up. Exhale, hands come to prayer. Two more rounds, breath in. Inhale as we move up, coordinating our breath with our movement. Exhale as we fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Press into the earth, inhale, come up. Exhale, sthiti. Now from here, breathe in. Raise your heels, interlace your fingers, stretch your palms towards the ceiling. Keep looking at a point, either on the floor or the wall. We're going to stay here for two breaths. And as we breathe out, drop, fold forward, Pada Hastasana. Breathe in, halfway lift, breathe out, step back. We're going to come into our plank. Palms beneath our shoulders. Stay here. Again, stay here for two breaths. Inhale, pulling our belly in. Exhale. If this is too much, you can always drop your knees and move your chest slightly forward. Now, drop your knees, drop your thighs. Breathe in, Bhujangasana. Press your toes into the mat. Again, pull that navel in. Back to plank, breathe out, Parvatasana. Inhale, look at your fingertips. Exhale, chin towards your chest, gaze at your toes or belly. Breath in, forward. Exhale, look down. Now step between your palms, halfway lift, Ardha Hastavatasana. Again, Pada Hastasana. Press. Come up. Breathe out. Sthiti. Go again. Breathe in. Up. Interlace your fingers. Stretch. Breathe out. Forward fold. Breathe in. Halfway lift. Breathe out. Step back. Come to plank. Again. One, this time three counts, two, and three. Breath in, Bhujangasana. Press your toes back to plank and back. Parvatasana. Breathe in. Look from under, your right arm back to center. As you exhale, look from under your left arm, back to center, step between your palms, halfway lift, Ardha Hastavatasana. Again, forward, Pada Hastasana, press into the earth, inhale, come up. Stretch your fingertips up towards the ceiling, raise your heels, turn, drop, twist to your right. Now, right hand behind your back, left over your shoulder. Take another deep breath in, twist further. Now, as you breathe in, come forward. Hands go up, stretch and reach. Drop down, turn and twist. Breathe out, completely twist. Stay here, take a deep breath in. Again, back forward as you breathe in. 
reach up, breathe out, fold forward, Pada Hastasana. Breathe in, halfway lift, exhale down, step back. Stay in plank. Hold three, two, one. Pull the belly in. We're not dropping here. Pull and hold. Two more counts for five counts. And one now. Drop your thighs towards the mat. I'm not touching. I'm not resting my thighs here on my toes and palms. Urdhva Mukha Shwanasana. Now press gently as you breathe, coordinating your breath. Come to blank. Then say blank. Come to plank. And from there, raise both your heels up. Legs are nice and wide. Drop it down. Try to bring your forehead towards the mat. Breathe in. Breathe out. Raise both your heels up. Inhale. Exhale. Drop your heels down. If your hands are slipping, like mine are, you press into the mat. Raise again. And back. Last one. Step between your palms. Half a lift. Harta Hastavtasana. Breathe out. Pada Hastasana. Press into the earth. Inhale. Reach your hands up. Palms towards the ceiling. Feet pressed into the earth. Stay here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bend to your right. Here option one, interlaced fingers and stretching or with your left, hold your right wrist, stretch. Back to center as you breathe in. Completely breathe out. Breath in, reach up. Breathe out, down. Now bend to the other side with your left, grab your right wrist, stretch. Up. Raise and hold. Drop and fold forward. Drop your feet. Fold forward. Halfway. Ardha Hastavtasana. You're actually squeezing your seat muscles to pull you up. Breathe out. Step back. Urdhva Mukha. Excuse me. Come to Chaturanga Dandasana. From here. Urdhva Mukha. Shwanasana. Back to Chaturanga. Two, three, four, and back. Five. You can open your knees nice and wide. Big toes to touch. Rest here. We're just going to stay here for three breaths. Two more. Your breath is gotten choppy. Just notice that back here, palms beneath your shoulders, engage your toes, lift your knees off the mat and hover. One, two, the closer the knees are to the mat, the better, but they're not resting there. And one. Raise both your heels up, legs nice and wide. Right heel in the direction of your hip. Bring that thigh close. Just hold here for three counts. Three, two, and one. Step between your palm, adjust your back leg. Vira Badrasana. Exhale. Straighten your knees. Parshavuttanasana, your pyramid pose. Inhale. Depending on how your breath is, you're going to move the same speed. Breathe out. Down. Just one more here. Bend. Inhale. Come up. Exhale. Down. Step between your palms. 
your Urdhva Mukha. If this is too much, you can always rest like you're in Bhujangasana. Plank down to Adho Mukha. Now raise both your heels, left leg up towards the ceiling. Bend and hover. Three, two, and one. Step between your palms, adjust your back leg. Breathe in, come up. Vita Patrasana. Breathe out. Pyramid pose. Inhale. Up. See that your foot is not lifting off. And down. Again, breath in. Reach up. Exhale. Down. Turn your legs. The back leg. Step back. Shake your legs out. Legs nice and wide. Walk your hands back. Bend your knees. With your left, hold your right elbow. Right your left elbow. Just swing side to side. Breathe in. Breathe out. Press your feet into the mat. Straighten. Now press your palms. Walk forward. Without raising your heels. Just come to that point. Walk back only to a point where your knees don't bend. Don't lock your knees, keep it soft but not bent. Pulling your navel in. Back again. Forward and back. Now we're going to go all the way forward. Your heels lift off. Like you're coming into your plank pose. From here. You're completely on the mat. You need to let me walk back because your mat can slip. So nice and wide here. Hold. Breathe in and out. Three. Pull everything in your navel. Two. And one. If you need to, drop your knees. Sit back. Child pose. Sit back and rest. Breathe in. And out. And back. Come back. Step between your palms. Halfway lift. Again, squeezing your glute. Breathe out, fold forward, press into the earth, inhale, come up, stretch, push your pelvis forward, back bend, Hasta Uttanasana, breathe out, Pada Hastasana, press your left hand into the mat, bend your left knee, twist and look up towards the ceiling. Back, bend, this time you're gazing at your fingertips or the ceiling. A step back, you're going to build on this, raise both your heels, drop it down, legs are wide or hip width apart, good stretch in your shoulder, again raise and back last time raise right leg up towards the ceiling bend towards your nose again breathe in breathe out towards your right elbow again inhale up towards your left elbow Inhale, send it all the way up, step between your palms, adjust your back leg, Virabhadrasana, 
Exhale. Knee straight. Feet of Adrasana. Two. Place your hands in front or the inside of your right foot or here. Reach and stretch. Uttita Parshava Konasana. Hands come back. Breathe in. Wrap your hands behind. Deep stretch. Drop your hands down. Walk your legs from the out. Turn and drop your left leg onto the mat. Prishthasana. You're going to hold this here. Three, two, and one. Press your toes into the mat. Lift, lift back. Shake that leg out. If you need to, you can pause the video here. Come down to rest in child pose for two or three breaths. All from here, raise both your heels up, left leg up towards the ceiling, bend, bring your nose, knees to your nose, and back forehead to the mat. Left knee, left elbow, squeeze and push back. Towards the other elbow, and back. Last one, back towards your nose. Step between your palms, adjust your back leg. Oops, feet of Adrasana. Again, straighten. Feet of Adrasana too. Drop your hand, reach and stretch. Breathe in. Completely breathe out. Each pose we're going to hold for one breath in and out. Each pose we're going to hold for one breath in and out. Reach your hands behind your back. Stretch. Drop down. Again, we're going to hold Aprishtasana. Head chest. Drop your knee. Breathe in. Completely breathe out. Breath in. And breath out. Press into the mat. Lift. Step back. Shake your legs out. Drop your knees. Sit back and rest in Vajrasana. Hands in prayer. Breath in. Completely breathe out. Now, press your palms together. Inhale. Reach your hands up. I'm actually pressing. Exhale. Bring it behind. Seeing that you're pushing your elbows back. Inhale. Let's go again. Inhale. All the way up. Exhale. Open the elbows. You're not dropping your chin to your chest. Try and look straight ahead. Neck in neutral position. Doesn't matter if you can't go all this way. Just see that your fingers are pointing up towards the ceiling and not towards the wall. Again, reach it. And down. Two more rounds, but this time you're going to press our fingertips against each other. Press and hold. Breathe in. Reach up. Breathe out. Out. Inhale. Up. Equal opposite forces between your fingers. Inhale, up, exhale. By now you should have broken out into a sweat. 
up and down your breath can get choppy but it's important that you're still able to say small sentences then you know that your intensity is right come on to your palms and knees parvatasana a step between your palm left leg back ekapada hastasana now keep your gaze on the mat breathe in breathe out bend your knee oops it can get wobbly focus reach your hand up ekapada tadasana from here you're simply going to kick your leg out ekapada asana breathe in breathe out bend again drop back kick your legs back it's very normal for us to fall off the pose i have edited that out stay here vidya bhadrasana 3 or they call it tula dandasana 2 drop down shake your legs out breathe in breathe out at any point if you think it's difficult to move through each pose you can always rest your legs onto the mat and then move to the next balance now take a pada stasana breathe in breathe out bend bend your left knee keep looking at a point inhale reach up i like moving through the balance poses because we lose balance generally when we are moving and not when we are standing breathe in breathe out kick that leg out hold 3 2 and 1 bend here get a point two and one drop down shake your legs out pull it forward pad hastasana press into the earth inhale up exhale pull forward breathe in completely breathe out and you is more like a resting pose if you want to you can always bend your knees slightly on three now come down to sitting straightening your legs in front of you now sit tall reach your hands up towards the ceiling and pull the belly in breathe out reach forward nav chalan asana like you're rowing a boat move back only to a point uh, where you don't feel strain on your lower back inhale up exhale forward inhale back so we're going to do five of this reach and back breathe out breathe in moving with your breath three more see that your heels are engaged toes are pointing up towards the ceiling when you lean back you'll actually notice the tightness in your abdominal region one more reach and fold forward hold here bending your elbows towards the mat belly towards your thigh breath in completely breath out drop your chin towards your chest forehead in the direction of your knee stay here see what works for you 
in one hold your three two and one squeeze and sit up tall bring the soles of your feet to touch just going to move ahead grab your toes or your ankles start bending your elbow towards your waist keep maintaining that length in your spine lean forward and now start pressing your thighs towards the earth at all times you're breathing in and out just bend forward only at a point you're breathing out not when you're breathing in your body is going to resist that take another deep breath in completely exhale through your mouth everything else is relaxed now one more deep breath in as you breathe out completely through your mouth drop your chin to chest forehead in the direction of your toes stay here for one more breath in and now and very slowly come up like the way you went forward the same way come up bring your hands next you come down to lying bring both your hands all the way on the floor behind you reach and stretch take another breath in completely exhale relaxing your whole body only the areas where the muscles are actually working you should feel some tension one more breath in now here take a deep breath in and as you breathe out shoulders raise off bring both your thighs together knees come to touch breathe in completely all the way resting your hands back on the floor knees are in the direction of the earth or your mat let's go five here breathe out nice and slow coordinating your breath with your movement the slower you are the more effective out and in Hold here. Three. My feet is touching the mat. Two, and one. Rest your hands back. Open your legs wide. Elbows bent. Simple breath in and breath out. bend both your legs arms like the letter t just drop your knees to your right and to your left you're just mimicking the windshield wiper motion with your knees now if you feel like when you drop to your right look at your left when you drop towards your left look at your right Otherwise the nose points up towards the ceiling and you're just moving. Last one to your right. Bring your right foot on your left thigh. Turn and look towards the left side of the room. You can reach that left hand to the corner. It's not in line with your shoulder, neither it's pointing diagonally up to one corner of your room. Inhale. Completely exhale. Drop down. 
drop to the other side. Left leg, reach that hand. Breathe in. Here, try and breathe out through your mouth. Just letting that whole uh, left leg go heavy. Enjoying the stretch. One more breath in, breath out. Stretch your legs on either side of the mat. Arms come to rest on your abdomen. Enjoy this moment of pause. Breathe in, pushing your belly into your palm. Breathe out, letting your whole body sink into the mat. Stay here for five to nine breaths or as long as you can, you have the time. Breathe in for one, out for one. You can count in your mind. Right hand continues to stay on the belly, left on your chest. We're going to take one more deep breath in and chant Om. You can bring both your feet together. Just noticing the vibration spread all through our body. Breathe in. Thank you for joining me in today's practice. I would love to hear about your experience in the comments below. I'll see you next week with another video for weight loss. Namaste.